Today is Friday, the 14th of August, and we're fishing Shore and Beach. What's going on people? Back down Shore Beach. Pretty empty down here. Found a quiet spot. The sea is nice and flat. Pretty clear as well by looks things. So I'm not expecting much and I've only got some frozen mackerel there. So I'm just gonna fish two rods today, a scratching rig and probably a bigger bait just in case because you know. Always nice to find that big bass, isn't it? But I'll go through what I'm using once it's out. Look at how calm these conditions are. I should have come lighter. I should have bought like float fishing gear for garfish. But I'm all heavy dutied up. But I'm going to come up with an idea to try and fish for our, uh, garfish. I just want to say it works. Right, guys, this is what I've done. I found a two hook flapper in my tackle box, all clipped up and this is normally where the rig ends you can see the clip there and what I've done, I've added about a 3 foot or 60 pound line there going down to my weight so hopefully the two hook flapper will be right up near the surface because it's only going to be I don't know, 7 or 8 foot deep out here at high tide because it's really small tides at the moment. Normally, go right up here, and that's a good 10 foot. So, got you know, quite shallow water to fish in today. So I'm hoping, hoping if there's any garfish about, fish should hook them up with strips of mackerel. But I'm not going to back out far. Just probably 40, 50 yards, and see what we can find. Okay, second rod. So one up, one down rig, big hooks, big chunks of metal. I'm just gonna hammer that one straight up there. Guys, keep on getting knocks on the right hand rod there. Little vettles, can you see? I'll take it and have a look, that's the bigger bait. But guys, ready for this? I've been stripped. A big chunk of weed. That was definitely a bite though. It's been munched up a bit as well. But time to rebait up and cast straight back out again. The bites are back again. I've got a feeling they're a little green. Just had a few little quick little knocks. See that? That was a nice little pull down. Oh, I've got a bigger hook, so I don't think they're hooking up. Let's go look, progress just for a little bit. Just want to see one big lunge for it to hook itself. We're going to go again. Can I hold fire for a couple of minutes and I'll have a look? Hi right, guys, stripped again, both hooks. Got uh, both fast, uh, bait elastic things on, so it must be green strip, stripping those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my other rod, it's got the small hooks on, I'm going to take that three foot of extra line I put on there, take it off and see if we can catch them. Really don't get this fishing malarkey. This right hand rod is the one with the bigger hooks, and I keep getting stripped all the time. Same bait on my left hand rod, only Five ten yards apart, not getting any bites at all. No right hand rod, stripped every time. Right, guys, I've decided the time has come to go with a big mackerel head and its guts just on a running ledge of it, straight onto my um, shock leader. Bit of a lazy setup, but just going to cast that one close in. Kept on getting stripped off uh, every cast. 
on the bigger mackerel chunks. They must only be bream. But I've got a little size four hooks on the rod, right next to it, five yards away. Mackerel again, not being touched. It's very strange. But like I said, this one's going to go out about 10 15 yards. Okay, it's just turned high tide, and I've just had my first little rattle on the small hooks on the left hand rod. Been rattling away for a couple of minutes, but only small little rattles, not as vicious as on the other rod. Oop, I saw that. I'm going to take it in and have a look. Baits are semi intact, but shredded up a bit. I think I can sort of top those up a bit and get them back out again. Okay, sunset now. Just put on some the CCT. LED light tips. I've used them before. Had them for about a month, and I just haven't been out of the fishing. But in person, they look really bright. Not so bright on the camera yet. But I'm hoping to show a bit more bite indication at night for you guys. I used to like um, just filming in in the dark, with my reflective tape, and just a head torch. But I thought I'd try some light tips. It's supposed to be quite good. So yeah. That's what I'm using now. Still no more bites. Um, about half an hour after high tide now. So I'm not too sure how long I'm going to stay. It's pretty quiet. But we'll hold on for a little bit longer. Alright guys. I think it's time for me to have a wind in. And probably call it a night. I don't think my head torch is still working. So. And as you can see. It's pretty dark. So I'm going to have a quick wind in and probably caught it at night, but I'll keep you updated. Bye guys, the only light I've got is on my phone, so I'm going to call it a night. No fish on those, no more bites, very quiet, but very small tide, so it was a bit much, as I was only using frozen mackerel as well, so it wasn't ideal. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I shall see you very soon. Thanks for watching guys.